something hangs on the wall and it's rectangular, then it might as well be a, a window to a different reality, which perhaps happened a hundred years ago or more. Hello and welcome. I have this idea of making a series on YouTube about my paintings, about my art, uh, most recent developments, things in progress. So recently I have been working on this long series of works based on my photography and the pictures that I once took in uh, 2019. As you can see, people are not wearing masks. These photographs are not necessarily the best that I took, but they have some qualities that I can use painting paintings. So here there are three paintings. They, they are not the first ones. I already painted several. I sold some, so they have new homes. I call it an endless series. Of course, one day it will come to an end or it will, you know, transform into something else. But the more I paint it, the more approaches to painting I find. And I think this is something that has always been my tra trademark. I'm not so much interested in repeating myself. Although over time, I developed some signature, you know, lines, texture, textures, sets of colors. My colors can be very bright. And in these pictures, they're very bright and it's difficult to make them harmonies. I was inspired by music and I read that certain guitarist was using a different sort of tuning on his guitar and I thought, hmm, what would tuning your color colors differently look like? I wasn't very, very scientific about it. I basically switched from dark to light from warm to cool. Sometimes I used colors as I pleased to make a nice effect. Of course, I'm being purely subjective, but what I like about this painting, for example, is how this is drawn, what this person looks like in reversed colors, but I also like how these reflections that were on the train I amplified them in a way. If you look closer, they look like an abstract painting. So it goes from figurative sort of painting to pure abstraction. So I even imagined that this painting was slightly longer and got more abstract as it went towards the left, which is something that I probably maybe will do but often when i push it push the colors like really really hard to make them really really vibrant really really saturated then uh, the next thing i'm gonna do is just paint with very limited color and i was very very careful about the colors that i used on my palette when i got to <clears throat> to those over here I was kind of fighting it because I thought, well, I need some more saturated colors, but I don't, I don't want them to be too saturated. So uh, everything has to have a light touch and everything has to be minimalistic. I believe that the form should follow content. I don't know if I'm consistent about that, but oftentimes uh, the choice of colors, the choice of textures, the choice of uh, how elaborate the painting is depends on the subject. Actually, I made a series of these photographs of the girl who's kind of nonchalantly sitting uh, on the stairs instead of on a bench. That's probably what I would do sometimes. And I think that perhaps uh, in this case, in case of this painting, uh, something that I would sometimes consider my weakness as a, you know, doing photography aside from painting is a 
sort of a distraction and it takes a lot of time to learn things in photography. But would I be able to do this sort of composition and tell this sort of a story if I wasn't working with photography and trying to find out these things as they happen? I could paint based on somebody else's photograph, which I sometimes do, or I use the set of uh, photographs to do something something graphic or something painterly, but that would be slightly different. It would be a different kind of thing. So maybe it's not quite finished, but it's close, I think. And it took me only a few hours to paint it. I mean, I liked how it is a frame within a frame. And then there is this one, a painting that I'm developing very much is a documentary photo with a decisive moment quality. We have three generations of people here. We have a young girl and an older woman. These are her parents. I always have in the back of my mind when I'm painting that this should differ uh, from uh, a photograph or something that can be done on a computer. Uh, you can play or interpret a photograph that's 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 cool but if you do something that's just uh hyper realistic then perhaps um you should just frame the photograph and that's that that would be it this one has some painterly quality to it like this texture for example uh, and i like how this thing is painted and it looks better from a distance actually. Yeah, makes more sense now. Um, I'm still working on the tiles and this is a challenge and one has to have uh, a good command of the brush, you know, not to make it too harsh or too soft. Uh, takes a lot of going back and forth to find out if it's working. So thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about my paintings. What do you like or don't like? Uh, I don't know how I'm doing because it's a new thing for me and it's my English is my second or third language.